Hi everyone, thank you for joining our catering and hospitality live q and I'm going to now hand it over to our lovely lecturer to answer any of your questions. Hi everyone, my name is Vinny, I'm, your, I'm the front of house uh, lecturer here at Brooks Mountain College. Uh, <clears throat> this evening I'm on my own because my colleague is on holiday, so um, please be kind to me. Um, so any questions, feel free to um, to write them in the in the uh, in the comment box, and I'm sure I can answer them uh, when they when they crop up when Chai sends them over to me. Um, so basically, um, you know, the court, we're actually um, enrolling in a fortnight, so it's still time uh, to apply for the course if you so wish, and the college will get back to you in due course uh, with um, various. Uh, information about the course and obviously tonight I will help you with those decisions. So if you haven't today been successful for your GCSEs for instance, don't worry. Uh, the college offers um, uh, support programmes such as um, uh, to continue with your studies for maths and English at GCSE level and also we do functional skills at both level one and level two. So don't be worried about that, don't put off with it. Um, we have um, we offer a few types of courses. So we do level one, which is a combined course of uh, food and beverage, and the same this year. It's the same for level two. So we changed it, changed it around this year. So we're doing uh, level one um, food and beverage. It's like an introductory to the qual uh, to uh, the industry. So in um, in the kitchen, you'll get the, you'll know the uh, you'll learn about the basics of um, cooking. Uh, various aspects, uh, poaching, boiling, uh, chopping, roasting, poaching and the like and preparing different types of meats. And in front of house you'll learn the, uh, the basis of serving uh, in our restaurant. Uh, we do have a, uh, a live training restaurant that we offer to the general public uh, that they come in and book as you would in a normal restaurant. And we teach you then the skills how to serve and also we have a, a fully functional license bar as well where you'll learn the skills serve behind the bar as well. Um, we touch on cocktails and stuff like that um, to make it a little bit more exciting for you all. Um, and we're on to level two, obviously level two takes it up to another level, so then you get more in depth with the qualification uh, and getting more, it's getting get to the nitty gritty because some students will uh, progress on to employment after level uh, two, but also as well some students may wish to continue their studies excuse me, up to level three, which we do offer courses for both front house and uh, kitchen at level three. Uh, that will take you again to the next level if you want to go into hospitality uh, supervisory for uh, front house and also as well for, um, for the kitchen. Sorry, I've, uh, sorry I'm on a live uh, Q&A. Um, in about, how, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'll, I can speak to you. No problem. Sorry about that. We just had a student walked in the door that obviously wants to talk about uh, talk about our course. So I've asked to come back after we do the Q and A. Um, so where was I? So um, em employability. So uh, the industry, as you all well know, is crying out for um, for uh, for staff at the moment. So you can the, my um, the word that I always use is, <clears throat> and it is. The world is your oyster. You can you can take these qualifications and you can go around the world uh, in various different roles. Um, and these qualifications rules are supported throughout the uh, the whole of the world. So the very recognised qualifications that we do by city and guilds. Um, but that said, it will give you the tools to go into work in a pub, fine dining restaurant, cafes, bistros, and the like. It, you, you can work in events, you know, sports stadia. It, it just opens up so many doors for you all um, if you so wish to choose uh, hospitality and catering. Um, with that. Um, also as well, we uh, offer um, bursaries for people that uh, families don't have um, a certain income. So uniform and kit can be provided through our student services uh, provider or you, on, upon enrollment it's just best to bring in any certification with uh, regards to that and our team will help you out with that. 
Um, also as well, the college offers um, support for students who have uh, moderate or severe learning difficulties. Um, we have a great team in the LSA department that will help you out with any support needs as well. And they come into the classroom, whether that be in the kitchen or the restaurant or in the when you do your theory in the uh, in our teaching rooms. Um, so when does the course start? So enrolments on the 26th of August, which is a Thursday. So enrollment will start, we'll pretty much be have our allotted times. Um, I'm not sure what the times are of yet. Um, and then we start the, literally the following uh, week. So you, you will be back, you'll be in college and do an induction for the first week. Um, starting the 31st, Tuesday the 31st of uh, August. So it's literally, it's quite, I think we're only a few weeks away now. And we'll be, uh, we'll be back at it. So this time in four weeks time, we're going to be a few weeks into term. Induction's out of the way and we'll be teaching you all how to, um, the, uh, the fundamental skills of hospitality and catering. Um, transport. Um, so um, again, for people that of the family's got a certain um, income, the college will actually offer bus passes so you can get to the college. It is quite a, if you live in Leicester, there is a there's a straight bus route that that can get you into uh, into the college. Um, there's, it's quite um, we're right in the heart of mountain, so it's quite easy. It's quite easy to spot us where we are. We're right on the main on the main road on the Ashford B road. Um, Um, so the courses themselves um, are a mix of theory and practical. So it's literally about it's a 60-40 split. It's more of a, the more practical based um, courses that we offer because um, that's what it is like in, when you get out in the industry. Um, but obviously theory side of stuff, we at level one after each unit you have like what they call you do like what you call an end test at level two what we're offering this year after every unit we're doing like a knowledge a knowledge test because level two has changed from what lived this year where you'll actually sit a uh, formal exam uh, at the end of the year where uh, level one you're continually assessed and you're continually marked of your assessment so it's a little bit different for the level two qualification this year and the same with level uh, two qualification i'll stay on that where you actually do a, um, you have to produce a three course meal in the kitchen. And then obviously the front house staff, they have to serve it. And it's, it's, it's slightly different, but it's, I think it's more, it's more akin to what the industry uh, is requiring at this moment in time. Uh, not saying that level one isn't, um, but majority of students at level one do actually progress on to level two. Um, but don't worry with level one, it's literally continual assessment, continual uh, working um, and you'll, you'll get feedback after each unit. But obviously when we come to uh, at, with the level two students that are interested, um, you won't find out until the uh, exams are submitted. A bit like your um, your GCSEs really, I would say. So you'll probably find out, you'll sit that in um, May, June. And then you'll probably get your results back in, in the August. And obviously, if you're not successful, resits can be taken as well at a later date. Um, we offer um, also as well for the people, we offer work experience. Uh, obviously, um, now that the world's nearly COVID uh, free um, and the restrictions have been lifted in the UK, we will be going down the route of offering work experience to, to our students. So we've got some really good um, connections within the uh, local area in Leicestershire and Rutland area where we can offer work experience opportunities for that and nine times out of ten uh, work experience opportunities normally lead to employment and even if it's a part-time job at the weekend or future employment uh, when you actually leave leave college. Second, sorry. Hard work talking on your own, I've normally got John who <laughs> we normally share it. Um, so I've gone through assessments. Have you got any questions that you that you think that needs to be answered there, Chaya? Sorry. Yeah, so um, what are the sort of career prospects for the course? 
So right. after you sort of finish, where where can where can this lead to? Right. You well if you if you sort of like um say for instance, let's start at the beginning. So if you if you decide if you decide that you want to uh, progress you and stop at level one, I'd probably say at level one you could probably get yourself like a bar job. Um or this is front house obviously it's like, like a, a little bar job obviously if, of, of the age uh, obviously you've got to be 18 um or like a, a junior a junior waiter in a restaurant uh obviously level two you'll be going up to the next the next level so um you're looking at probably front house you're probably looking at um a waiter in a restaurant and um you could be then like a level two you could probably be looking at a more of a senior position within within say a, a a bar or pub environment um you can actually go all the way through from all the way through to level three then you're talking then you're it's your managerial um kind of like prospect so then you're looking at um going for um being a, a supervisor of perhaps a restaurant or a um a pub a bar you're talking you're going into management outside of that you, if you want to continue your studies, you could go to university and study hospitality and catering management, and that that would then just springboard you up to uh, being um, a manager at a at junior level, and then you'll progress through the ranks and you'll you'll find your uh, niche where you want to go. And it's pretty much the same where the kitchen's concerned as well. So if you left at level one, you'd probably be looking at what they call a commie chef uh, in the industry. So that's like doing the basics. In and around the kitchen, helping the uh, the senior chefs out, and at level two, you're probably looking at what they call a chef de party. So a chef de party, they actually look after a section of um, of the uh, kitchen, and um, that's what you're looking at. And then, obviously, when you go to uh, level three, uh, with the kitchen environment, you're then talking about you, you probably get some like managerial responsibilities as well as your cooking responsibilities as well you're not going to because you've got a level three the same as hospital front house you're not going to jump straight into be what they call a sous chef a second chef or a head chef that takes years of experience but these courses offer you the uh, the chance to actually get to as high as you would like in the industry it's just down to the individual i'll be honest with you with that one Thank you. And what about kit and uniform? Is there any kit or uniform that students might have to buy beforehand? Yes, there is. Um, all the current students that have actually applied for the uh, for the course, there is actually um, the live. The kit is actually live on our website. So if you go onto the Brooksby Mountain College website on the home page, if you look at it, it will tell you the. Um, kit requirements and you just obviously click onto hospitality and catering and all the kit requirements for all the year groups are already on there. Uh, we work with a part in partnership with a company called Russums, which pretty much uh, deal with lots of colleges in the UK and literally you need, just need to go in, get your sizes, click on um, and then your kit will be uh, delivered to your home address. Um, and obviously if people are coming in at level two, if you've been successful at uh, GCSEs um, again just click on if you're new to if you're new to, to the college and you're new to the industry um, you probably need to click uh, believe it or not on the level one kit because you need both sets of kit if that makes sense uh, but any questions you can obviously um, email the college and they'll forward them on to myself or my colleague and we can answer them uh, as, as soon as we can but again obviously people with uh, the, uh, with bursaries um, obviously, you need to uh, apply for the uh, apply for the bursary on enrolment. So your kit might take a you might not have the kit before you start the course, but it will be sent out to you as soon as it, as soon as they receive it, and as soon as it's ready. Um, there is um, some links on there for uh, books, but uh, we find that it's probably best to um, have a look at the uh, the books that are on the uh, website. Uh, on the in the kit list and do a Google search and Amazon will do them that they, they will be used by the way but um, there are going to be a fraction of the cost because they are excellent books but they're roughly about between 30 and 35 pounds each um, where you can get them used off Amazon for a fraction of that okay thank you and how big are the classroom sizes so how many people are roughly in a class 
So what we generally do, because the, we because both level one and level two uh, is a split qualification, we pretty much um, when it comes to the to the practical side of stuff, when the restaurants live, we split the groups in two. Uh, so for instance. We don't know, say, for instance, if you if it's a 10, you'll be will be five in the restaurant, five in the kitchen when we're doing our uh, food service days at, at level one or at level two. And then in the uh, again in the classroom, because obviously we all teach uh, theory all together, so we'll have the group together. So it depends on the sizes, uh, but the classrooms can uh, accommodate up to um, 15 students quite quite comfortably, I would imagine. But this the, the Class sizes are generally not that, not that big in all honesty, and the classrooms are all fully uh, equipped with all the, the local um, all the sorry all the up to date technology, smart boards and stuff like that. Not that I know how to use them, um, but um, we've, we've got everything that's 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 needed for your theory needs. Thank you. And what type of enrichment activities are there? So enrichment activities, we um, outside of work experience. Um, it's a good question, actually, because our, <laughs> the last two years, the students haven't been able to go out anywhere because of COVID. So, so this year, different um, enrichment stuff. So believe it or not, um, I'm looking at the Ashbury Road at, in college now, and there's a little microbrewery just across the way at the um, in the mountain uh, market. So we look, we've got good links in with a uh, round corner brewery. So we'll be taking, we'll take a walk over there and they will talk, talking us through their, um, their, the brewing process and how, and how they uh, produce their, their beer. And we can actually see that going, uh, being made live. And also as well, um, we will take you to, um, there's a local uh, coffee uh, place that actually roasts their own coffee beans uh, Two chimps, which is just down the road, it's, um, it's not too far away. Um, and also, as well, we take you to various establishments to get you a different, um, get get you to see different types of establishments uh, that are on offer for the hospitality and catering. Um, and that will be, as I say, we're in the Heart Mountain. It could be just walking across to the Witherspoons in the Kettleby, uh, the Kettleby Cross, or we'll take you to one of the five star uh, hotels, such as Hamilton Hall. Uh, just to get some get some background knowledge of, of their staff because I would imagine that a lot of their students, uh, a lot of their staff, sorry, have actually gone through the uh, the college route as well. Um, to, be, to be honest with you, hopefully that's answered that question. Thank you. I think you mentioned before that the RCC is actually open to the public. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about that? So, is it open currently, or when will it be open next? So um, yes, yeah, so the general public can can book in. Um, you can go online. You can book online, um, or you can phone the phone the restaurant, um, and one of our students will will be answering the phone to make your to take your booking. Um, and that's how that's the sort of like you know we teach that uh, straight away at level one, all the way through up to level three. So the restaurant's um, currently closed at the moment because we're um, out out of our. Uh, student season, they're all sat on sun lounges having a nice time. And uh, but we'll be back open week commencing um, September the 20th. So I've only got a couple of weeks <laughs> to get the students up to speed because once the once the uh, doors open, there will be uh, quite a lot of uh, people looking to uh, looking to book with us for uh, evening meals. And we offer different experiences. So we do a, a fine dining evening. Um, we also offer, we do a quiz and we also do theme nights just to give you a different um, different scopes of uh, of hospitality and giving you different experiences of uh, what what we can offer uh, as well as our lunch. So we, we are, the restaurant is open uh, Monday through to Thursday. Um, we offer lunch on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday and we open for the restaurant on Thursday evenings at the moment, this moment in time. So you can you can get your parents to come in to uh, support you whilst you're learning, um, which a lot of parents actually do actually, and just to see their see their 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 kids how they're progressing at college, uh, which is uh, which is which is quite good. 
Okay, thank you. I think we've got time for maybe one more question. Um, so somebody has asked, um, if I've got the grades for a level two, does that mean I have to apply for level one still, or will I be straight on to the level two? Well, if you've got your, GC you've got your GCSEs, you know, by rights, um, you can apply for the, the level two course. Um, but you will be expected to, um, to learn very quickly uh in all honesty and hit the ground running um especially in the kitchen it's you know you if you've got some experience with with the kitchen or you know food tech at, at school then yeah you might be might be sort of like advisable to come straight in at level two i had two students last year that come straight in at level two uh, but they sort of like excelled at food tech uh at school and um they 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 struggled. They struggled for the first term, but they they got to grips with it. Um, it just depends on what what how you feel, um, how comfortable you are at cooking. How if you're a good cook at home and you cook for the family, then I'd, I'd go yeah, go straight in at level two. Um, but you could come in at level one, and we could um, we can we could see where where you're at, and there is a six week window where we could actually move you up into into um into level into level two or come in at level two and if you go actually you know i think i might drop down to level one that's not a problem that's not a problem so don't be put off by that um but as i say if, if you are if you are quite comfortable in the kitchen um then come straight in at level two if you've got the uh, you've got your, your gcse grade so don't be worried just sign up <laughs> Oh, thank you for that. Um, OK, everyone, I think that's the end of the session. If you have any further questions, I'll just pop our email and our website in the live Q&A section. And also just to mention, we do have our Melton campus tour on Saturday, the 21st of August. So if you'd like to have a look around in person at our amazing facilities, do visit our website and register your place. Um, we also have several apprenticeship vacancies available in the catering and hospitality sector. So anyone that is interested, please contact our apprenticeship team. The details can be found in your live Q&A section. We'd like to thank Vinny and a thank you to everyone for joining our live Q&A today. Enjoy the rest of our virtual open evening and we really hope to see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.